Jimmy Gang. Jimmy Gang, Jimmy Gang, the Army, the Navy, the Unstoppable. What's the word, my boys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody feeling good, man. Do me a favor, if you don't mind. Let me know how your day going in the comments so far. Let me know what's up. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, man. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to get my motivation back. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. When the views be low, my motivation be dipping in and out a little bit. I be having to bring my motivation back. Because as long as I got my day once here that's watching and enjoying, that's all that matter. Listen, Jimmy Gang, today we discussing two St. Louis rappers. Shot and c Less than 24 hours apart. One set on fire. Dang, man, that sound brutal. I ain't gonna lie to you, bros. Let's get right into this video. We ain't gonna waste too much time, man. If you new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I drop every single day. I'm consistent with the videos. Energy high. I'm locked in. I'm making sure, you know what I'm saying? I'm here bringing y'all that fire. Let's go, man. Like the video as well. As soon as I be starting to like the song, like, yo, my nigga, give me a little bit more with the song. It's probably because you're trying to avoid getting copyrighted, but as soon as I be liking the song, the joint get turned. Major K Squad detectives tell me they came here Thursday night and found a man shot to death and on fire. Okay, Jamie, thanks so much. New this morning, a man is found dead in an alley with multiple gunshot wounds. Hey, no, what's going on? Yo, yo, yo. Oh, yeah, put the gloves on. Pretty right there. <laughs> With all the dissing in the drill culture, it's not surprising that people making more diss tracks than actual views. Family, today we got to take it to St. Louis and talk about two rappers who was known to make a lot of diss tracks, who was gunned down in gruesome fashion, only 12 hours apart. Bro, no matter what state, city you in, bro, especially major cities like... With, you know what I mean? Like, major, major cities with a lot of projects and all that, bro. All you gonna see out of the young, like, the youth, bro, drill music, bro. Music dissing they ops. Music saying they ops names in every song, bro. Trust me, I know. I come from it. In the Bronx, right here, my nigga, ain't no song coming out with a nigga not dissing his ops. No cap. Victim was found in an abandoned <laughs> area, shot up inside his vehicle while it was on fire. His enemies wasted no time going on Instagram and mocking his demise. So before we break this one down, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll jump right to it. The first victim was a rapper. Yeah, I know I give you the angle, the story, everything. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 20s does identify as TMM Tank. He had a lot of diss tracks. One was a track titled Back on BS, released two years ago, which he featured on the half. He was getting views though. He had 124k views on this song. Some was getting views. 120,000 views and counting. Pull up on them, dropping every ten. You could tell with all flashing all those firearms in the video, they don't care about being monetized and definitely don't care about being watched by them boys. Within the last 24 hours, it was confirmed that Tank was the man that police have yet to identify who was shot multiple times and set on fire Thursday. The man was found on the 5800 block of Pocket Road. He was pronounced deceased on the scene. Authorities don't know when he arrived there. They still trying to piece that out and they don't know exactly where he was shot. Your help piecing together a murder in in the Metro East. Our Robert Townsend has the latest from Cahokia Heights. We are in the 5800 block of Pocket Road here in Cahokia Heights. Major K-Squad detectives tell me they came here Thursday night and found a man shot to death and on fire. Right now we're not 100% sure where the incident uh, officially occurred at. Someone passing through the remote area. So they body him one place, shot him in one place, and then took his body to a whole nother place and set him on fire? Bro, this is disgusting. On the man just off the roadway. Detectives are now looking for the person who shot the man multiple times and set him on fire. They spent the day trying to learn the man's name and age because they say he didn't have any identification on him. 
Detectives were also busy interviewing people, canvassing the area, and searching for possible surveillance video of the crime. Well, we are scouring every business in that general area. And now they're pleading to the public, especially potential witnesses, to come forward. <coughs> bro, <coughs> I know it sounds crazy, bro, but I'm just glad he wasn't set on fire alive, bro. I'm just glad his, his soul was laid to the rest already. Before he got set on fire, bro. Getting set on fire, bro, and drowning is like, like I don't want to die like that. I don't know why. I, I don't know why, bro. I think it's because I'm from a car from the projects, bro. Like, getting shot, getting stabbed, and dying and shit seemed normal. Even though it shouldn't seem normal, but you know what I mean? It just seemed like, oh, that's just how niggas die. Like, getting caught in a fire, bro, is crazy, my nigga. Like, bro. I'd rather go out any other way, bro. Not any other way, but you know what I'm saying? I'd rather go peaceful, really, in my sleep. And your sleep is the most peaceful way to go, no cap. The crime needs to, to come to an end. Um, and this young man was a family member to somebody. And that family needs closure. And, right. and no individual needs to go through what this, this gentleman went through. So we're just asking for the public to please help us. Anyone with any information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 866-371-TIPS. Inco. Bro, in a black neighborhood, my nigga, niggas ignore the tip line like it's a bum on the street. You know how niggas ignore a nigga with the cup? You know how niggas ignore a nigga shaking their cup, bro? In a black nigga neighborhood, niggas ignore the tip line like that. Like, niggas don't even see it when they come across the screen. Like, niggas is not trying to be the next body in the ground. Niggas is not trying to be the next nigga set on fire. No cap. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Yeah, Heights, Robert Townsend, five on your side. And the guy who was featured on TMM Tank Biggest Track to this day, Lundy Mob Tay, went to Instagram and said to follow her. He went on and say, you got me about you, Slime. I'm sorry. And got everybody left 100. Shh, so unbelievable. Heard so many stories to the point. I don't even care no more. I just want to spend and never forget about you. I love you. Now it seems Lundy Mob. <coughs> <coughs> what y'all think about when people pass away and then people go to their Instagram, even though they dead and not going to see it, now, people go to their Instagram and leave, like, stuff like that under their pictures and stuff like that. Like, you know how when niggas go under niggas' pictures on Instagram after they just died and be like, damn, bro, R.I.P. you. Damn, bro, I'm going to miss you so much. Leave a long-ass message like, you know he's dead, right? You could have just said that. You could have just spoke out loud if you believe in his soul hearing it and getting that energy. But why under the post? Like, now I'm trying to think back to me when I was younger. Me being dumb and younger, I think I did used to be one of them niggas going on Facebook right under a post like, yo, bro, I miss you, bro. I remember the day we took this picture. I, I guess I was talking to the nigga, but now when I think about that, bro, that's dumb as shit. Like, why would you do that? Like, bro, just say your, nigga, say your prayer up to your mans, you know what I'm saying? I, I, like, bro, he's not going to read this message. And if he does, he would have read it. He would have read that if you just thought it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy Gang, let me know if I'm wrong for that. I'm just trying to, like, I don't get it. Hey, according to his bio, rep 44 in St. Louis. You can see one line, 44 ever, getting our lick back. Now, the 44 in St. Louis stands for East St. Louis. The gangs call it 44 Lex. It's a set of GDs of Lexington. They got a long history and are really the only GD hoods in St. Louis. In a recent interview, Lundy Mob Tate had talked about how his hood is over 60 blocks. Some say that's why they have some of the most beasts in the city. Mm -hmm. This is where Sexy Red from, I believe, right? St. Louis. <laughs> yeah, where Nelly from? St. Louis, that's a fact. Sexy Red come, sexy red come from the ratchet, come from the hood, my nigga. Uh, everybody, uh, if you know, you know. This they know these faces, man. They know what's going on. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, y'all, put the bus down the street right there. Very good, Security, folks. <laughs> Security. Security says, hey, I see. gonna get a bottle of <laughs> <laughs> Nah, for real. See, tell them a little bit about it. Where y'all from? Is it? Where y'all say y'all from again? From East St. Louis. East St. Louis. East St. Louis. All the way across the water. Nah, for real. See, tell them a little bit about East St. Louis. If somebody like, came from over here, how y'all coming? It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> all of y'all YouTubers that be wondering, bro. For all y'all YouTubers that be wondering, you don't have to block out a blunt. As long as the state that you, as long as the state that you um recording out of is legal, you don't have to X out the in the video, bro. It's not gonna stop my organization, none of that, bro. Like, I'm just just so y'all know, because I see a lot of people do that. And you don't have to do that. Oh, they woo! Oh, 
You see these niggas, see? He already got himself caught up. He gang banging in the video while guns, that's what they blocking out. They blocking out the guns in the back, you know what I'm saying? And they, and, they, and then you see they try to block out the blunt too, but they ain't have to block that out though. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Indictment! 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 <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what you want. That's what you want. Oh, you know, man. Hey, 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 Tank, the St. Louis rapper who was shot and found burnt in his vehicle, may he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family, might be allegedly from 44 Lex, which is the east side of St. Louis, or at least well acquainted with them. Now, not even 24 hours. Was it an op? Was it an op? Was it an op who spotted him? Was it an op who spotted him? Caught the body, then dragged him to a fiery pit? That's wild, my boys. Make it make sense. That's wild, my boys. Jimmy Gang, let me know what you think, man. That's wild. Later, it would be reports that another St. Louis rapper would unfortunately lose his life. Some Rest say in it peace was retaliation. Because what are the odds? It was a crip rapper. <laughs> now, the person we talking about is a rapper who just turned 30 years old. They go by the name of BTE Trap. And just based on his name, he allegedly rapped BTE in St. Louis. He even have a song called King of John. Released last year, over 40,000 views and counting, and dissing a lot of his ops. Oh, now, before we go over the details on how BTE Trap lost his life, let's take a moment and disclose, allegedly, what BTE stands for and their affiliation. Allegedly, some BTE members, and all of them, go by Dub19 or Croc Boys. They are a set of Rolling 60 Crips off 19th Street and College Hill. So now we got that out the way, BTE Trap was found gunned down in the alley. It was reported he... <laughs> God damn it's blood. <laughs> oh, God damn it's blood. It's busting. My fault, child. I was on that bitch. In. <laughs> oh, this blunt is, blunt is busting, my nigga. I'm trying to tell you, nigga. From multiple guns. That headband. The victim, who we now identify. This that extreme headband. Nigga got my head banging right now. Head busting. Pause was found in Dutch Town shortly before 10 p.m. A preliminary report from the police said he wasn't conscious or breathing. At first, police said the man's body was found in the 2600 block of Ocean Street near St. Louis General Hospital. Later, they said he was found at the intersection of Ocean Street and Iowa Avenue. They later confirmed that he passed away on the scene. Okay, Jamie, thanks so much. New this morning, a man is found dead in an alley with multiple gunshot wounds. Investigators say the victim's body was discovered on Osage just off South Broadway just after 9.45 last night. Homicide detectives with St. Louis Metropolitan Police are handling this investigation. As of now, no arrests have been made for neither one of the shootings. And as we wrap this one up, we do want to say rest in peace to the victims and love and condolences to their families. Fam, that was the story of two St. Louis rappers losing their life less than 24 hours apart. Some say even a case of retaliation. Let me know how you guys feel about it. That was clearly, that was clearly a case of retaliation, bro. Obviously a case of retaliation, but the get back was got quick. The get back was got quick. I'm like, what? You body my mans and set him on fire? Nigga, we coming back and we chopping at your man. Bah, 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 bah. And the get back was quick, nigga, and swift. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy Gang, man, rest in peace to both of them young men. It's a, it's really a shame that all of this, it got to be happening like this. You know what I'm saying? Back-to-back -back gunfight. Like, we really out here killing each other for no reason. My nigga, we got to get it together, my nigga. What happened to brotherhood, man? Brotherly love and all that. What happened to that? Jimmy Gang, man. Hopefully, we can stop the cycle at some point. Your boy is going. I'm off this nasty. Like the video. Share it. Subscribe. Comment for the algorithm. Yeah, man. Like, share this with your peoples, bro. If you rocking with me, rock with the channel. You like what I'm doing over here? Share this with your peoples, bro. Um, I appreciate everybody who rocking with me, man. We coming up on 2K. I'm gone, man.